In defensive training, one of the things that we teach is the 360 look. Today we're going to talk about why that's so important. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we're glad you're joining us today. Um, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button, hit the share, also hit the bell so that you can get instant notification every time we put up a new video. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and partner up with us. Um, we appreciate everybody who's watching the show, and today we wanted to talk a little bit about some of the training tips that we do for defensive training and for CCW. Uh, one of the things that happens in a situation like a armed encounter is you have to deal with a whole lot of stress and during that time of stress your body is going to play mind games with you that you're going to have to anticipate and know how to get past so that you can stay in the fight and keep your head now in a high stress situation you're going to go through different physiological changes like i said where your mind is going to play games with you one of those is known as auditory exclusion where literally you're not going to hear the things happening around you. Another one is known as time dilation, where your mind is going to play tricks on you with the sensation of time. You get the sensation that time is speeding up, slowing down. You may even feel those things happening in the exact same moment. And for anybody who's ever been in a car accident, you may have encountered these. But it's the sort of thing that when we're talking about defensive training for shooting and getting ready to train for a violent encounter, you want to be aware of. Now the one that we're going to talk about the most today has to do with how to uh, avoid what you would call tunnel vision. One of the things that happens in a high stress encounter is you lose your peripheral vision. You are quite literally going to be putting out the fire that's directly in front of you. And what that means is, is you're going to get tunnel vision. You're not going to be able to see anything out of the sides. Now, we, one of the things that we like to stress is that when you're a new shooter, you're probably going to start off shooting with one eye just so that you can focus your dominant eye on the target. Later as you become more comfortable though, you want to shoot with both eyes open. And there's a huge advantage to that because we are alpha predators, just like cats, like grizzly bears, like great white sharks. We have eyes mounted on the front of our face so that we can triangulate distance to targets. Shooting with both eyes open is going to make you more accurate, but more importantly, it's going to give you a better coverage of peripheral vision. If you go into a high stress encounter with only one eye open, when you get tunnel vision, it's going to be narrowed even more. Your focus will narrow with only one eye. So because of that, you want to keep both eyes open to maintain the most amount of peripheral vision possible. So one of the things that we train people to do is what we call the 360 look. And what the 360 look does is by moving your head first over your left, then over your right, by physically moving your head, you're going to help break that tunnel vision. That movement is going to almost create a reset. And you do the 360 look not just to break the tunnel vision, but to make sure that your area around you is safe and that no bad guys are walking up on you. So very, very common if you go to the range and you see people that are training doing holster work. The technique that they're going to use is when the gun runs dry and when they do a reload, they're going to they're gonna reload the magazine. They're going to check, check over one shoulder. They're going to check over the old, other shoulder, make sure they're safe before they go back to work again. Now I'm going to do a, uh, do a quick demonstration on how this works, but the first thing I want to do is show that we're safe and clear, just like we always do. We've got an unloaded firearm, so there's not going to be any big surprises. I'm going to drop the magazine because this is just going to illustrate it a little bit better. Now I'm going to reholster real quick. 
So, me turning around to demonstrate this, if I was shooting at the target, bang, 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 gun goes dry and it's time to do a reload, I'm going to come back, I'm going to do a reload, I'm going to look over one shoulder, I'm going to look over the other shoulder, make sure I'm clear, and then go back to work. And it's a good habit to get into. And what we'll do is we'll actually train people and walk them through the steps of, of doing that 360 look every time that they reload to make sure that their environment is safe and that nobody walks up on them, but more importantly, to help clear that tunnel vision. So it's something you want to practice, it's something you want to learn, and it's the sort of skill and the sort of technique that will help keep you alive. We want to thank you very much for joining us again on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We want to thank you for joining us. Y'all be safe. Y'all take care.